university can be strong to compete anyone else if they focus and invest not only money, but invest a vision and, and, and culture to bring the best people to Frankfurt. So the Institute of Biochemistry is scheduled as a very dynamic interdisciplinary scientific institute with an important role in teaching. We consider that science is very important for education as well because our scientific qualities reflect our teaching abilities. We want to understand what is the living in our cells, in cells of different animals. And then when we understand it at the molecular level, we would like to transfer it as soon as possible toward the clinical applications. There is a great progress in uh, biomedical research. It's called investigator-based trials. It doesn't make a difference if you make a trial with 2,000 patients or if you make a trial with 15 patients. So everything needs to be done the same in terms of ethics. Instead of having 90 ideas which will never be tested on a small scale, now we are allowing these 90 ideas to be tested and then we need to build up bigger and bigger uh, clinical trials to prove them without any doubt. Pharma industry is now very active and very positive to outstation some of the ideas and to outstation some of the small clinical trials which would give the lead to develop better drugs and to develop more drugs. This is a major, major change in the concept how the science can be very rapidly transferred to the clinic. So the ubiquitin name comes out from a, a small protein which was discovered to be ubiquitous. And ubiquitous means it's present in all cells. Our cells, like cities as well, once something is finished, garbage needs to be removed and deposited somewhere else that we don't accumulate it in our streets. The same is done with ubiquitin. When ubiquitin sees that the protein has finished the function and needs to be deposited, ubiquitin is attached to it, and then this ubiquitin carries this dead protein to the garbage. We understand the anatomic details, how this surface of the protein binds to this surface in absolute atomic details, angstrom size. And then the chemist can come out and say, this surface, but not that one, this surface we want to target, because we know the atomic details. So therefore the discoveries were very, very deep. They were coming from the atomic details to the clinical relevance. And this is something which we have been, I have been actually credited for many, many awards for this span that I could accept the clinical knowledge and go and use the atomic details, physics, chemist, chemistry and biology to understand the clinical settings. The project focusing on autophagy, and autophagy comes from the Greek words self-eating. This mechanism is quite uh, bizarre because it seems that you have a cell and inside the cell you have a small membranes which are aggressive and, and can then eat parts of the cell and does, does it only to create some new energy for the cell to survive because that's how it was evolved evol uh, in evolution. It came out as a response to starvation. Cancer cells depend, sometimes they're addicted to autophagy much more than the normal cells because normal cells live in the normal, let's say, it's a rich environment. It's like you live in a beautiful houses. While the cancer cells, it's kind of pressed and want to be removed. So the cancer cells are using autophagy more often because they are starved, they are under stress. And therefore, if you would now discover the drug which can block autophagy, maybe the cancer cells will die first. The cancer is a very difficult enemy because it is very rapidly changing. The natural evolution of every single cell is highly speeded up in a cancer cell. The cancer is not 20 diseases, it's as many human beings as many cancers we have because every individual cancer in individual human being is different. I think in the last decade since I came to Frankfurt, the scientific output has been always on increase. It's not only that it was a money flux here, and, but it was atmosphere change. It was a change that people have started to be more ambitious. So we have now very strong teams. And this was something which Frankfurt has done very well in an excellence initiative competition. The success of Frankfurt in the last decade was was significantly improved in international visibility. Many of our colleagues are, are foreign scientists who come to Germany now and are fully functional without any borders. If we as scientists would like to make a major input to society, the best way would be to take the duty of going out of the labs, communicate, get younger kids from the school to the faculties to see what real challenges are on the scientific side. I can only be proud that humanities 
have been so strong in Frankfurt that then when I travel around, I can be only saying, yeah, Frankfurt is absolutely strong in biomedicine, where I am, and I'm proud of us here, but I'm also proud of humanities, and I feel stronger by being a Goethe University professor whenever I am sitting at a table with all other dignitaries. So it's fun to say that we are strong.